you know, I'm going to share with you the five things that I do to stay on top of the latest and greatest in children's literature. The first thing that I do is to go to independent bookstores and talk to the people that work there because they know books so much. Their livelihood depends on them knowing books. One of my favorite bookstores, Book Bug, Kalamazoo, Michigan. My second tip for staying on top of children's literature is to find friends that love books because if you are around people that love books, people that love books love nothing more than sharing the books that they love with other people. So the more book friends you have, the more book recommendations you'll get. The third way that I stay on top of children's literature is through social media, whether it's Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, those places. If you follow the right people, if you follow people that love books, you're gonna get all kinds of great book recommendations. The fourth way that I stay on top of children's literature is through YouTube. I subscribe to all of the major publishers channels on YouTube and I click that little bell notification. So anytime Scholastic or Macmillan or Penguin or Random House or Chronicle or Little Brown or any of those publishers or other publishers publish a new book trailer, it gets emailed to me and I get to watch it. So that really helps me to kind of stay on top and know what's coming out and get really excited about it. And then I can show those trailers to my students and we're all book crazy excited. The fifth way that I stay on top of children's literature, it might be the most important, but I listen to my students. My students are readers. My students love books. My students have favorite authors. And I know that if I'm reading for them, then I should be thinking, looking at what they're reading, what they're talking about. I should be paying attention to how they browse the classroom library. And I try to look closely at how they shop at a book fair. My students know what they like. So if I'm going to be the best teacher that I can be for them, I need to be reading the books that they're loving.